Once you're able to sketch the atomic arrangement of atoms that are present on a plane, now you can do other things like calculate the linear density or the planar density. For example, consider this question that says, calculate the linear density along the 110 direction, or calculate the planar density along the 110 plane. So the linear density, that's defined as the number of atoms centered on a direction or vector uh, per the length of that direction vector, right? So however, however many atoms are going to hit along that line divided by how long that line was. And then planar density is the number of atoms centered on a plane over the area of that plane. So let's take a look at here at our examples for the FCC, BCC, and zinc blend, right? So along the 110 direction, what's the linear density for FCC? Well, you hit half an atom, one full atom, a half an atom. So you're hitting two atoms per, right? This one would be... 2 divided by root 2 over a, right? Because you're hitting two atoms, half, a whole, and a half. This one would just be one atom per root 2 times a. Then this one over here would also be, um, if you're going right along the bottom, would be equal to two atoms per square root 2 of a. So that's the linear density calculation for these three. What about the planar density? Here we're doing the number of atoms on the plane divided by the area of the plane. So how many atoms are we talking about in this one? Well, you've got a quarter, a quarter, a quarter, and a quarter, and then a half and a half. So you have two atoms, and it's divided by the area of the plane, which is going to be root 2 times a multiplied by a, right? <clears throat> Over here, you're going to have the same area. It's going to be root 2 a squared. This one's also going to be root 2 a squared, but the number of atoms, are they the same? How about this one? You've got a quarter, quarter, a quarter, quarter, plus one, so it's also two atoms. Okay? And then over here, you've got the two atoms from before, from this picture, but then you've got two additional ones, so it's going to be four atoms. Or two zinc atoms, two sulfur atoms, if it's the zinc blend structure, because there's two of each type. Okay? So that's planar and linear density. Why do we care about this? Because in these structures, if you can get the highest linear density plane in the highest linear density direction, that's where you get something called slip. Slip is when these atoms move past one another. For example, this group of atoms might slide past to the left or to the right, this group of atoms. If they slide past them, then you can get slip or deformation occurring. Much more on that in a few chapters.